that far away. Let's see if we can get a run in here. Absolutely ridiculous amount of traffic here right now. But we'll see if we can get a quick uh, run in. Let's say a little 2S shake up here. And who knows, maybe this will be a qualifying run. We'll treat it as it is. I'm not sure if we're going to break 80 miles per hour on 2S. But hey, we'll give it a shot. I'm just going to get this thing down the road. like to start out on 2S just to make sure we're trimmed out nicely and that we're running straight. We have a car coming. We'll let that guy pass and of course there's another car coming. Maybe we can slip one in here though. That was a hard hit. That was a hard hit. Better go check the damage on that one. Well, not looking very good, guys. Wheels crooked. Looks like I might have broke something. Got no power. So let's take it back to the truck and let's see what happens. Guys, well, might as well read it, see what we. Stop, read. 62 mile an hour is what it read there. <laughs> that was on 2S. And unfortunately, yeah, we got got some damage here that's putting me on the sidelines right now. Home is ripped, knuckles busted. The uh, CV axle is snapped off. It's gone. So, yep. Yeah. I'm uh, on the sidelines now until uh, we can get some replacement parts in, I guess. Well, that sucks. Anyways, guys, it is what it is. That's the risk with this uh, challenge is there's no parts available. And I have a feeling there's going to be a few other guys in the same uh, scenario I am in here out trying to uh, get a qualifying run in. And unfortunately, a bit of a wipeout there. Well, not a bit of a one, nearly 100 kilometers an hour. And we've got broken parts and Currently no parts available to uh, get in. So see what we can do guys, but uh, I'm gonna pack it in for now and lick my wound. Well guys, I didn't think I was gonna get the 917 back together again until I got some spare parts in. As soon as I got home after that crash, I ordered up some spare parts from the Rolarlo website. They're ordered, hopefully they show up, but uh, I was able to make do by pulling out uh, the old parts bin we were able to get a linkage made up there, 3D printed a front uh, knuckle there, so that's good, as well as I've got several spares and some more on the printer right now, just uh, in case this one fails, because I don't expect this one to be as strong as the factory one, but it looks pretty beefy. I'm impressed with it, but that's in, linkage is in. Oh, the main thing was the CVD axle. So, right in there, I've got a new CVD axle. What I did was I took the CVD axle from a, a high boxing 16889. And since I still had the front output of the Rilarlo axle, I was able to use the shaft from the 16889. And with a little bit of grinding, a little bit of Dremel work, I was able to make it work so this was not compatible the front uh, output here was not compatible but I was able to use the shaft it's a little bit longer so there's a little bit of tweaking I had to do to the front end here but I'm good to go guys I'm ready to run it uh, hopefully will hold up and we can uh, get a few runs in and those spare parts actually show up but nice thing is is we're good to go and it's uh, looking like it's gonna be a nice weekend so we'll see you out there and we're gonna rip it up guys